Good afternoon. Go ahead. Who are we talking about today? Uh, he's. We expect him to practice tomorrow like usual. He has struggled a little bit this week with uh, a back, but uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Good energy, real good energy. Still some stuff to clean up, but good energy. Guys were flying around and did a nice job all the way through. Just, just so that we don't get any issues. You know, uh, we did the same thing last week with Webster. Grant, you saw him in the game. He had an issue, but uh, so we thought we better be, you know, be careful with that and not put ourselves in any any problems going forward. So, just limited. Well, I haven't, I have not uh, sensed that for three or four weeks. But certainly, uh, we take a straw poll here. It's it's us against the world. There's no doubt about that. So uh, we haven't really pushed any buttons with regard to that. But uh, the truth and the reality are are what it is. Uh, you got to believe. All things are possible for those who believe. We've been. Uh, Working that one real hard for probably uh, for a while. So, yeah, that's a uh, major theme of ours. And uh, keep the dream alive is another one. Not out here, no. Thank you. Mental toughness is what I think it is. You know, it's a perfectly disciplined will that. Uh, Refuses to to give in. That uh, that is persistent. Will battle through the good and the bad. It's uh, you know the physical side of the game, but also the mental side of the game. The resiliency, the uh, just the uh, the ability to see things through to the very end, believing you're going to win. He did. Yes, he did. He's on the path. I don't see any of that happening. I, I, I wouldn't even see that happening. I know if I got beat, then I, that would be the least likely thing that I would do. But I'm not sure if you have a specific reference or not. But I think it would be, if you're talking about the game and the highly competitiveness of the game and the seriousness of the game and where the game is, I, you know, guys are going to play hard. They're gonna, we have great respect for the Packers. They're going to play hard. Guys are going to play hard on both sides of the ball. And you're going to do the very, very best you can. And uh, but during the course of the game, I, I think it'll be extremely competitive. I remember that. No, I, I, I thought it was an, an acknowledgement of respect. That's all. From a very, very good football player, veteran football player, leads the league in interceptions. what we strive for from day one on. It's, uh, but it's been very good the last few weeks, and it's been very good because of the nature of the way, <coughs> excuse me, the way our defense has played and improved and special teams, and it's given us a chance to, uh, you know, we didn't start out doing very well with the run, but we stuck with it. They were, and they were missing a couple of linebackers, too, so. It's a part of our game. We were missing a couple too, so. But uh, they have, uh, as I read, everyone's back now, so they're they're healthy. No. No. I think what we talk about is when the ball snapped, play through the whistle, play great whistle effort, uh, 
you know, uh, the physicality of the game, meaning basically, you know, turn the run back, run the ball, be aggressive, but not anywhere near uh, outside of the rules of the game. That's not what we're talking about. Anything else? Outstanding last week. You, you have a, uh, a weapon such as Weems or whoever. We've, we've faced an awful lot of very, very good return men, both uh, punt return and kickoff return. But the fact that uh, there were no punt return yardage, although we would certainly like to have the touchback go out of bounds at the three, but uh, the three balls that he did kick were out of bounds, were, were well placed, very good directional uh, punts, and, uh, and helped us tremendously because of the nature of the returner. No. 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 Try to win the physical battle. Okay, thank you.